hey guys welcome and this is just uh, a video in regard to my work line boots the ones that I've been using often in summer and I'm very happy and excited that Nick's yesterday he they they, they opened slots for for the Latigo chestnut boot and I want to remind you guys how how they look uh, I've been working with these ones um, a few times, well not a few times, uh, quite a time. Um, I used the Kiltis, the Haptus Skirts, and I didn't fire really, I don't like to use the skirting um, in my applications, I don't think it's necessary. I like more cutting this and try to leave the, the vamp long. And you got mark, in mark there. I got some marks when I was kneeling, but it, I don't mind, it's, it's this, the boots are made for this, and let me show you the the chestnut color Latigo. It, it, it has some darks, dark sides, dark pieces, but as soon as you flex, you can watch the pull on right away. There you go. So, when when I'm walking, you, there you go. You can see here the how the waxes move. It's really beautiful leather. And let me show it to you how this one, let me focus. Okay, there we go. They working pretty nice. This is a heavy leather, it's not uh, lighter. And when I say heavy, it's not immense if it's heavy, but you can feel the difference if you use using vegetable tan, you will feel a, a little bit of difference. It's thicker. I feel that thicker and pliable, it's a firm something one to ten i will say it's seven it's quite it came because it came with full of stuff it's it's a little bit it take time to to break this leather and it, it take me quite a time you can see the rolls are very heavy on the ankle same this side in comparison let me you can watch the differences this uh the latigo state it marks really strong same with the rolls on the temp in the in the band this uh hold on you can watch i've been using this one a lot more time the latigo and the latigo already got the the pattern the part of my foot something that i really like about this leather I, how it rolls it's something that I really, really, really like on boots, especially in soft tool. And you can appreciate a lot in this boot how the leather get uh, stay stay. It's unique. It's tape in one side. It's very, I will say, extroverted, extrovertida. It's very nice. Uh, absolutely, this is Latigo is my favorite leather. I can tell you. Well, trying to show you other leathers that I'm using is the Bonnie Hunter. This boot is pretty amazing from Whites. I got it from Baker's in Father Sale, Father Day Sale. At that time it was 440, something like that. Now there are 650, 600, something around. It have changed a lot of the inflation, the, the prices on boots. Uh, Quite a sad, but well, it is what it is. And this is a uh, cinnamon, cinnamon wax flesh. And I, I was skeptical about this leather, but it's been held in. It holds pretty nice. Um, because it's, it do not have the lock soles, I use this one for inspection, walking. When I do a lot of walking, it's more a lot more pliable. This leather it feels even if you have a lot of waxes. For me, I think it's, uh, it's quite pliable. I, I, one to 10, I will say if, uh, five, just, uh, if one is soft and 10 is hard. So, and the toe area is very comfortable. If you're walking a lot, I, I think you're gonna like a lot of this type of boot. It's highly recommended. I got these laces, the flat laces from Generation Laces. Uh, they already make the product work flat and works very nice with the old eyelet boots um, a little trouble with the speed hooks 
I recommend the rounds more, but the flats works pretty cool when, when you have all eyelets. Um, there you go, you can watch more or less how the leather develops. This cinnamon wax flesh. Watch the, the main purpose of the videos are the leathers. So you can see here, uh, this is rubbing with my jean. Um, the ruffle is, is coming on, the wax is falling, but still, uh, this is still, there are a lot of wax here inside, but little by little, it's starting to, to go off. I don't think it's necessary to apply nothing here, not until, nah, it's very soon. Um, you already know this type of food, my dome, my knicks, um, thunder dome, the natural smooth, and after the Venetian cream, I give a treatment, and <laughs> brothers, just look at this. This is, when I look a boot like this, I fall in love. This is a hard working boot that I have uh, many years to come, and he have a story to tell. This is what I love to see in boots. And check out. Check out this. Um, the color, it was really like a vegetable tan. The, the type of white, not white, but very, very light brown. And now it looks like an almond, something like that. So it had changed a lot, absorbed a lot of the oils and whatever you add and gives a very good patina. Here, rough out from Nick, the Renegades. Guys, this boot I've been using just a lot, this boot lately. I'm a bit lazy sometimes to, to put laces. I need to go fast and I know I'm gonna do a lot of inspections, nothing, nothing really hard. And even if I do something hard, this one is, are gonna hold. So, look, it's hard to see the rolls on the rough out, but I can feel them. You, you see my fingers, how they move. Yes, here, check out. Uh, the cat popsol is being held in pretty decently. It's uh, faster wear. It works faster, but it's not incredible faster that it doesn't work to add them. So, pretty nice being here in a little bit this section and been doing nice. Really flexible, really comfortable. Um, I think it's gonna, I think I'm gonna need to, to do a little clean out to this, a little maintenance to these boots because they're being with a lot of dirt. And you can see here some stains of oil. Hard to watch on camera, but I can watch them. There you go, right away. They start to develop some spots of dirt. And I think it's time to do a little refresh, especially on the cleaning side, not too much on the, on the condition. And guys, I want to present to you, let me move a little bit these boots. I'm gonna leave the Latigo because it's their cousin. This is the chestnut, and here you have the Renegade with oil tan. Check the differences. Finally, this boot arrived, and I'm pretty excited. This is 8 inches, the Overlander, and this Renegade is 12, Y12, just because I want it. That's it, nothing special. And the chestnut looks a little darker. Um, it's a unique color, the chestnut, because flexing the, the bam is something similar like the oil tan, but the chestnut, I like the dark, it's like some mix of purple. It's a unique color, man, I can tell you. It's hard to describe, but it's a color that I really, I really love. Look, you see? It's a beautiful color. And let me show to you this Renegade 8 inches oil tan. These are fresh new. I can review this one, but because I've used the 8 inches version, I can tell you 
let me show you the difference in size I hope I can show this on camera there you go there you go um, obviously uh, this one is half sole so this is taller because of the of the outsole that is in, in the heel stack that's the main difference and the b-bar the b-bar heel is thicker and that's what makes the difference uh, I don't mind it's perfect actually I think it's very cool uh, this is H&W it's not 55 but once I've been breaking and compressing a little bit the heel stack it's gonna look a lot better in my opinion but there you go let me show you closely how the oil tan looks is this is a perfect but I really really like this leather here there you go check out let me show you the shaft and let me there you go one more time well you can see my finger this is something that I really like about Latigo. Uh, slowly, see the pigments. There you go. There's something magical about this type of leather. Nick's already opened slots, opened a few boots to make with this leather, and it's thick. This is a thick leather. And why I chose this color and Latigo in special because in difference to Chrome XL, the Chrome XL boots I get trouble here in South Texas. We we are a hundred a hundred plus degrees, very hot, and wearing Chrome XL, it keeps the humidity inside of the boot. Some experts talk and say it's very breathable. Guys, I'm in South Texas, you can't if you're not here to experience this type of heat and what is the reaction, honestly, you can talk about how refreshed they are on the hot, hot environment. Same like me, I cannot say too much about winter and very cold places because I don't have that big experience. But at least this leather is breathable, it's really breathable. I'm, in, I'm just in shock. That's why I got this Latigo. Uh, I like the color. It's very thick. This boot is gonna last <laughs> a, a lot, man. So it's welcome to my addition. I'm gonna start using it this weekend, and let's see how it goes. That's my dog <laughs> barking. And well, um, just showing you this this uh, my new addition. Hope uh, this help you guys. <laughs> And for those one wondering to get a Latigo, honestly, if you have the money, if you're bringing one, if you want some cool leather, I think this is something special. This is my opinion, guys, but you're welcome to leave a comment if you want to, whatever you want to post, good or bad, neutral. Um, it's up to you. Thank you and God bless you.